Morning, 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 Johnny. I'm fine. How are you? I am greater than Accra. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Kwame, so your name has been all over the place from Saturday up until this time. First of all, how are you doing in terms of your mental health? The, the going issues, everybody's mentioning your name, hey, 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 plus, hey, plus. How are you feeling? Well, you know, there's a, there's a, there's a this popular old song. That's the way, uh-huh, uh-huh. I like it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. That's the way, I want to get them talking. <laughs> yes, I want to, I want, I want to force them to play nonsense, to, to, to degrade themselves, mm. to, to, to find themselves deep in the mud with mm. the, by their own actions. Mm. That's exactly what I want to do to them. I see. Uh, we're getting to the issues, but you, you also declared that you have intentions of going independent on your way to parliament in 2025. Uh, how is that plan panning out? Very well. I'm contesting independent. Uh, I, I, I hope I won't be the only independent candidate in Ghana's parliament in 2025, but of course I'm contesting. Like that decision has been made as final and I'm not only an act of God can change it. Mm. You have been criticized for tearing up the letter supposed to have been written from the NPP to United Television, copied to the CEO, the owner, and the executive producer of United Showbiz on which you appear. What do you have to say about that? I think uh, that everybody has the right to feel uh, how they want to feel. I, I support that. Uh, uh, if uh, there is nothing wrong with people criticizing other people for their actions, uh, however, it doesn't change the fact that if I get that letter now, I would tear, I would tear it apart again. Mm-hmm. Um, I found that letter online. I didn't. It wasn't uh, uh, presented to me. Uh, I found it online. I heard about it. I mm-hmm. went online. I mm-hmm. got the PDF of it. Mm-hmm. I printed it with my own printer, right. and as a form of protest, I ripped it apart. And that is. Uh, my right enshrined in the constitution that I can protest. And in this kind of protest, I didn't, I was not going to disturb public order, so I didn't need mm. police, uh, whatever. Mm. And so, yes, I, it's fine. Anybody can criticize, people can say what they want to say. But if I have that letter now, in fact, I'm going to print a lot of copies and put it on my toilet, I will be using it. Mm. Now, <laughs> the, the, Young people who came to UTV came to UTV mm. because of that singular act that you did on mm. TV by tearing the paper. And they said that was disrespectful to them and their party. What again, what do you say about that? They, they have committed a crime. I, I have not. They have committed a crime. I have not committed any crime. Mm. Which crime uh, is this? Uh, uh, unlawful entry. Mm-hmm. Uh, which is in the criminal code, uh, mm-hmm. uh, they, 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 they came to attack me, mm-hmm. uh, which is also a crime. They have assaulted me, which is also a crime. Uh, and so they have committed many crimes. I have not committed any crime. And so mm-hmm. they have to deal with it. The contents of the letter that you tore apart on TV uh, mentions, for example, that United Showbiz was working towards the interest of the NDC, the impan- uh, panel members were not uh, fair and doesn't represent the interest of the NPP and that it had to be reformed. Do you share that view? Uh, if uh, the, 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 you know, when I was studying negotiation schools at the University of Ghana Business School, uh, I always said to Dr. Adum, are you sure the people who run this country, they really went to school to learn, to apply, or they just went there to get certificate. Because mm-hmm. everything that we are being, we, we were being taught is something that must affect our very life. I look at the kind of uh, uh, deals that we have, we, we, we have entered into as a country. And I'm, ref- I'm, co- I'm, com- I'm coming back to your question. Mm-hmm. Look at uh, the people who wrote that letter. Mm-hmm. They are very aware of what is in one, uh, Article 162 right. of the 1992 Constitution. That's right. Read, read, the, read 6. What does it say? Mm. Read 4. What does it say? They are very much aware. However, they will get up and write this same letter. They have forgotten that. What gives them the power to form a political party is the same book that gives me the power to sit on TV 
and do what I do. But they want to enjoy their power as a political party. If you want to, if you tell them that you will not allow them to contest in an election, they will bring that book and bring all their lawyers and come and tell you that the Constitution says, but when I am on TV, then they want to come and find reasons why they can censor what I have to say, reasons why they can, this is the kind of people, these are the kind of people you're dealing with. Well, the, the, the suggestion was made by the party, particularly Mr. Richard Ahiagba, who I spoke with yesterday, that th this is not a directive, it's not an order, it's a stakeholder engagement to find a level playing field sort of, and that's all they intended to do and, and not uh, any sinister mo movement or uh, as is being uh, portrayed out there. Again, I ask you, what's your opinion? The party, I told Richard myself, on, uh, uh, Johnny, Richard is a nice guy. Right. I know him. I He's think a very that, nice yes, person. Yes, maybe Richard is a nice guy. I mean, me, what people, the problem that people have with me, I don't deal with individuals, I deal with issues like, like, I can support, you see more example, mm -hmm. 24 hours he's on his show, he's also me. But if an issue comes up, and more example, and I think that he's being treated unfairly, I'll defend him. That right. is me. I'm dealing with that particular issue. And Richard is a nice guy. Mm. I told Richard on UTV that their conduct is what has encouraged this kind of attitude. And so you can't say it is not a party position. It is the party's position. Mm. That's because in this country called Ghana, a group of young men overran a court presided over by a pregnant judge, mm. sat mm. the judge, took the accused persons away, and they are still working free. What do you want the rest of the members to do? So that is MPP today. This is what it has turned into. Unfortunately, those who have to be able to speak up as decent MPP members are said. I have so many people calling me and saying that, hey, you have to be careful. If you don't ask for this system, if you are not careful, they will destroy you. Me, I don't sell anything, no. <laughs> Johnny. I don't sell anything, no. <laughs> me, I don't, me, I don't import anything to come and increase my duty. I don't buy any electricity. I don't sell anything, no. Hmm. no. <laughs> so I'm not scared of what you... The only thing you can do mm -hmm. is to come and do, uh, come and kill me like I'm actually. Like some people went to kill Ahmed Swali. Apart from that, mm. I, mean, I will live. And you see, my life is so simple. Right. I don't sell anything. Mm. So the, he, he cannot say, oh, it's not the party. For, that is the party. That is the party as today. That is what MPP has become. And if they are looking to reform anything, they should reform MPP. This is not what a great side, J.H. Mensah. Mm. Uh, uh, the first uh, uh, BJ Darocha, BJ Darocha. Uh, this Victor is not Uso. what Victor Uso. This is not the MPP that they decided to, to, to establish, and those people are turning in their graves. This is not the MPP. The, most of us were attracted to the MPP because we saw it as a gentleman, a gentleman and ladies club. Mm. Today, NDC has attracted all the nice people in the, all the all the law abiding, all the Democrats. That must be reformed in Ghana now. Mm -hmm. It is the MPP. No leadership, no order. Any group of people can just get up and do whatever they want. And you know what? Mm -hmm. These boys who came to UTV, right. say, oh, it's not a party position. Mm -hmm. The party distanced itself from so and so and so. That's right. One of them is the deputy regional youth organizer. Right. Another Ma one is the mm -hmm. youth. Another one is the youth organizer of uh, call, 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 call or whatever. Yeah. Another one is the youth organizer of Amasaman. All of these guys are officers of this party. So if you have Nanabi, the Kudia, Stephen and Tim, Fua, going to a place to do, to, uh, to do something like this. And you come back and tell that, oh no, MPP didn't officially write. And so it is not the party. Look at the caliber of people who were there. Mm. So if you ask me, it is an MPP decision, it is their position, and the letter that they brought to us was signed by the, by the, uh, my own friend. F Finance and Administration uh, yes. Officer. Your head, of, your, your head of Finance and Administration has signed this letter. 
which of course, I, the reason I'm saying that there's no order in that party is because I said live on TV that that letter was written. I'm sure my brother William uh, joined the heat, uh, B house and everything, and Alan resigning, didn't, didn't uh, go through that letter properly. I will give him the benefit of the doubt. He's a very decent guy. I have a lot of respect for him. Mm. But his name is there that he sent that letter. And right. I stated clearly that I don't believe that this is coming from William. Where he is it, where is it coming from then? It is coming from uh, uh, this guy. What's his name? I suspect that it's coming from Osu Bempa. Osu Bempa wrote the letter and William signed. The Deputy Director of Communications? Yes, yes, I suspect that he wrote it. But, wh but why are you fixated on him? Because there's also, there's also re there are also reports that you have indicated that he was the brain behind the invasion of UTV and that you were able to marshal your boys in 30 minutes. He took two, two weeks to marshal his boys. And that going forward, uh, you, are, you are literally sitting on uh, you know, horses with him, if you will. You have locked horns with him. Why are you fixated on him, though? Johnny, we are in Isi Accra. Mm -hmm. we, are, we, are, we are all brothers. And everybody knows Kami Right. Yeah, I'm, every, everybody who, who has who comes in contact you know that me, I'm I am just like me, me like me pure right. Like right. yeah, I, I don't think about mm -hmm. I don't I don't I don't bear grudges. I don't have a sentiment. Like I just don't care. This is a guy that is my friend. I've called him on several occasions when where he's attacking us on YouTube. I said, ah, bro, but your body on the show. If anything, just call me and let's talk. And anytime this guy gets high, anytime he gets high, high on what? His, I know he says he's going to court. I don't know. I say he gets high. <laughs> on, on, on what? He's going to the high court. You mean? Oh, <laughs> I said high. <laughs> okay. Hello. <laughs> anytime he gets high, he forgets that he has a brother, and we I can't have a proverb. Mm. Uh -huh. So. You, a few days to, to this issue, you were out there insulting all of us, threatening us, telling us that if the NDC, uh, if the NDC were in power, a group of young guys will come and attack us. The next, a few, a few days later, some few days later, the young group of young guys who have entered the studio, I want us to suspect that he's true. And because he and his so-called lawyer are both illiterate, educated illiterate, people mm, who mm, went mm, through school mm. and school didn't go through them, they get up and say, we are going to court. I said, if he was behind, he should go and watch the video. And I don't think, even if I accuse him directly, he can go to court. In, and I would give him precedent. Mm. If, they, if they don't understand what precedent means, there are so many high court, there's a high court uh, case that says that in the heat of so and so and so, people can make no comments. And that is in the case of the Mahmoud to me versus uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, former NDC uh, 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 communication minister. What's mm. his name? Who wanted to be flag bearer? Uh, so, uh, uh, no, 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 no. Mm. Spio Gabra. Spio Gabra. Gabra. Right. Mm. I see. Now, <laughs> they, 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 Kwame, so uh, again, the conversation is that you are being sponsored by the NDC to appear on UTV to badmouth the government. Have when you really been sponsored? When I did Abenbe Boom, I was being sponsored by who? If you have, even if I was being sponsored by NPP to do Abenbe Boom, and now I have a different sponsor, your show, is it always one sponsor? <laughs> if one sponsor leaves, another sponsor comes. Mm, that's right. Mm. <laughs> so when I did Abenbe Boom, I was the most uh, uh, honest, uh, principled, uh, when it is against them, then you are being sponsored by something. And the NDC will come to power. The Kwame plan will remain the same Kwame plan. Look, I keep telling people I support Kennedy Japan. Not because I believe that Kennedy Japan is Jesus Christ. Because in 2007, we felt that. We felt. We didn't have any evidence. Mm -hmm. we, we could not prove. We mm -hmm. just had a feeling that President Kufo wanted to impose his candidate on the party. And we opposed it. We fought for Akufo to become president. So many years on. I still have that feeling that President Akufo wants to impose his candidate on the party, and I'm against it. I will fight it. This is me. I've mm -hmm. never changed. So if you come and tell me that somebody is sponsoring somebody, and this will come to power, 
to if they misbehave, it will still be me. Then they will all pretend now MPP sponsoring me. Mm. Hey, then me too. I'm a very sponsored. <laughs> <laughs> a, a plus you. I remember in 2008 the mammoth rally at Accra Academy. Um, I, I covered it myself. You were largely in charge of bringing all the creative people together to campaign for Nana Kufuado. Have you fallen out with the NPP? Because looking at the value of work that you have done for the NPP, they say you are the last person supposed to be saying some of the things you are saying now, uh, speaking truth to power and asking the right questions. Have you fallen out with the NPP? You see, my brother, everybody must understand that. We are not in this life to eat too. We only eat so that we won't die. But we didn't come here purposely to eat. And people say, oh, slow down. Oh, uh, 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 you have to find them. Oh, go and bring your documents. Let's give you... I look at all these boys. So he's looking for something that he didn't get. See, I, mean, I get everything I want in this party. I want you to put it on record. Mm. Everything I want. Which, 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 which ministry, ministry is crucial? Cool? Look, ask anybody in Ghana. That's why I keep saying, me, me, a guy, man, who up man, Look, me, my phone call goes everywhere. There was a time when Otenyane called told Kofidima that eight plus bar Have you seen a chief who is sleeping that day? You go and wake him up that somebody is looking for you before. Mm. There, there was a time that Otenyane is mine. Mm. My father is mine. Look, me, mm. everybody, I speak to Gabi Ochedakon, but quite often he gave me money to go and uh, he gave me some for my father's dinner. You think because of that, I will wake up today and then I will start clapping. Yeah, MP, never. Don't, if you like, don't give me anything again. My, look, I'm a non conformist, though. Mm. When I eat food, it doesn't go to my brain, it goes to my tummy. Food doesn't enter my brain. Mm. So if you like, don't deal with me. No problem. Are you doing these things because you were refused a position at Tamayo Refinery? And this is from Musa uh, from Nima sent us that message that you are doing all of these because you are bitter, because you were refused an appointment. Is that a case? I just answered that question. Right. Mm. I just finished answering that question. Mm. You see, and this guy wants to talk about. You see, MPP, they are so dumb. Oh. A lot of a ignorant a people have entered a that party. Plus. Just too many dumb people. No, let me, re let me, let me say that again. Mm -hmm. Many of them are so dumb. Many. Mm -hmm. Not all of them. If you say MPP, they are so dumb. You are talking about everybody. No, I, right. I, I, I retract that. Right. Many of them are so dumb that they just hear something and run with it. And tell that Musa person. The person is talking about boss. Mm -hmm. And boss, it wasn't even a position. They don't even know anything. All the... All the, the misinformed, misguided people in this country have run into MPP because you know why Afin North was packed with so many people? Mm -hmm. They are hungry. MPP people are hungry people. So all the CEOs, all the ministers were going there. So at least when you're working on the street, you meet a CEO or a minister who give you 10 Ghana, 20 Ghana. So they were not there to campaign. Mm -hmm. Every hungry person in Ghana is only following them to get something to eat, to buy cocoa. I see. So, because they, oh, some oil refinery, they don't even know. You know some oil, oil refinery, I don't, look, if I have to go to talk, some oil, oil refinery, I have to use Google Maps. Me? Yes, I have to use Google Maps. If the person wants to repair his boss, but they don't know the difference. And boss, I didn't go there for position. I saw an advert for, for some job. I applied, mm -hmm. and, they, and I got the job. And when I got the job, it didn't stop me from saying what I have to say. And so they took their job because they can't give me a job, and I'll still criticize them. After three months or so, they took their mm -hmm. job. And I didn't stop, la. If they give their job back to me, mm -hmm. I will still be the same a plus. They should go and open the, the boat at Ga Bank of Ghana. Let me carry some of the money. I like money. I will take it. When I leave there, no, I will still see what I have to say. Nothing will change a plus. I see. Will you still appear on United Television? If United Television makes a decision, that means I shouldn't appear there. I will go to another station. We will start. And look, let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. see, I've got the magic card. It's called grace. I won't allow it. I won't buy trumpet for somebody to blow. I'm a very influential person. People love me. The people on the street, look, they love me. Mm -hmm. I said it took 30 minutes. I just made phone calls. Everybody come. That day, like the boys said, like, what will happen? I am, look, I am a very influential person. Mm -hmm. If United Television decides to take me off, mm -hmm. I'll go to another station. And that show will be the biggest show in Ghana. 
I am a very, I'm a very loved person. By every sensible person in this country loves me. Okay, I be a focus. You me low key. Okay, for that man, low key, I'm telling you. <laughs> a plus. I've been a few little low key. Wallahi. <laughs> but the, the, the NPP has confirmed that United Television is not the only media house they have written to. In fact, my own media general, according to Richard Ahiagba yesterday, have, has also been written to and that many other media houses have also been written to, they have been engaged on, you know, some reforms that they are seeking and all of that. You referenced Article 162. Um, do, do you get a sense that they are paying attention to the dictates in the Constitution, the provisions thereof, uh, uh, before writing those letters? That's why I'm saying that most of these people, they are hypocrites. And, uh, and, and the hypocrisy is led by their minister of information to go upon command to go upon command if he continues like this he will god will create a special place in hell for him oh. he has to repent no no i said if he continues like that okay all right god will create a special place in hell for him today you are writing letters to people in 2007 2008 and in 2015 16 when we were attacking john muhammad left right and that time you didn't know how to write that time we were healed uh, my own big brother uh, Mustafa Hamid used to wake me up early morning and say, do a live video. This is what is going on. You have to talk. In this government, this, this, this is who are in government today. My own friend and boss and big brother, Kele Japan, his patient, what didn't they say there? And you see, I told you that me, I'm a strong supporter of Kennedy Japan. But I'm telling you that there were so many things that were said about John Mahama and mm. NDC there. Right. Did anybody write that? Did anybody go and attack them? As I'm speaking to you, 24 hours, they are sitting on Wound to Me TV, they are insulting me. As for me, I may not agree with what you have to say about me, but I will defend to death your right to say it. Say what you want to say and go, I don't care. Yesterday, somebody said me, I killed my father. Mm. My father just died. Mm. And somebody on Wound to Me TV said, I killed my father. How Am I, have I gone there with us to go and attack them? No. MPP it has MPP written to them to go upon command. Hypocrite. Has he written to them to say, don't go and on, on radio to say that somebody killed his father because he will bring tasks to attack you and that won't for, uh, foster national coercion. Hypocrite. Why is he not writing to them to tell them that don't go and say that about somebody whose father just passed? That one is okay. Mm. But we should come back and say that oh, we are writing to you because, because what? A plus, your blunt knife is cutting very deep. And people are asking you to tone down. I'm sure you get a lot of calls in relation to that. Will A plus ever stop? Somebody just said that I killed my father. Mm. And other people are telling me that I should tone down. Mm -hmm. Johnny, you are my brother. Our father has died. Right. Please, what do you want to tell me? <laughs> this, is, this is a trap. I won't take it. Thank you. <laughs> A plus, you are leaving us now. Uh, what would be your closing thoughts for the many people who listen to you, who follow you, who uh, see the things that you advocate for, who buy into it, etc.? What do you want to leave us with this morning? I want to tell everybody that the, the most popular so-called senior journalists in this country made their name under a military regime, which means that even under Rowling, the Pelkubakun, the Pelkubakun, the Kweti Pumsin, the Haruna Atta. But against any attempt to deprive them of their right, freedom of expression. Right. And this can never happen in 2023 under a human rights lawyer mm -hmm. and a person who benefited from that fight and has become president of that. And therefore, everybody, everybody, and I'm, and I'm saying this on this show, mm -hmm. I've read Gabi Ochoedakun's response or his reaction to everything that is going on. Right. And God bless Gabi. I like people who are straightforward and they deal with issues in a certain way. On this particular issue, Gabi Ochoedakun has made it very simple and straightforward. If you don't like what somebody is saying on television, either you endure or you turn it off. Or you go to court. God bless that. 
Kwame Plus, I thank you very much indeed for your time. And we're grateful as always for uh, speaking to us. The, the, your, your movement, uh, is it still in, in active force? We are going on a demonstration to demand that dialysis is free, mm -hmm. people are dying, mm -hmm. and we are going to announce a date before Friday. We are going to demonstrate, we are going to the Ministry of Health, we are going to ask that dialysis is free. If all the money that was found in the other bathroom can, can buy dialysis for all the hospitals in Ghana, dialysis machines are like uh, 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 as compared to everything that we are using our money for. We are taking COVID-19 levy. After we opened our airport for a Nigerian to come and collect all our money and go away with it, mm. and people are dying of uh, 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 kidney diseases mm. because they cannot pay for dialysis. Dialysis in this country must be free. The NDP has promised to give us free dialysis, and we are going out there to tell MPP that if they have to give us free dialysis, if they are not going to give us free dialysis, we are going to tell everybody in Ghana to vote for the NDC to come and implement that. Thank you very much. Thank you, Bobby, thank you very much. Let us know when the demonstration will happen and, and we'll be there to cover it. We're grateful for your time this morning. You're welcome. Helen. <laughs> <laughs> um, 